And how are we doing on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon? We are in the mid 40s in Marlington, low 50s in Lewisburg, mid to upper 50s once you get Beckley south towards the Virginia border. Now the average is this time of the year. Average high 43, average low 25, so we are well above that mark. We are fitting the budget for a super El Nino February. Here's where we have been so far, where this dashed line is and with the yellow, and that compares greatly to the past several super El Nino Februaries. But look at this, we got a big dip towards the middle of the month, and you better believe there is definitely a pattern change in the offing. Well, my lips are dry right now and my hands are. That's because the humidity is only in the low 20s, low 20% across the region. And that will be the story once again tomorrow with sun-filled skies. So while we have a gorgeous, gorgeous forecast, folks, remember that the air is dry and you have to apply that lip balm. After upper 20s, we zoom to 60 degrees, warmest day of the week tomorrow. No cold air across much of the lower 48. We are in the 60s in Nashville, 60 in Kansas City. Starting to see signs of change across the northwest with temperatures in the 20s. One storm system has barreled across the Rockies. This storm brought plenty of rain to California. The next one coming on shore, this atmospheric river where one after another moves into the west. We are going to see that first storm clip us with rain on Friday. Just a couple of raindrops. And then, folks, once we get into Saturday, more rain in the picture. Sunday, early rain, and then we dry it out. And then guess what? Another round once we get into Monday and early Tuesday. And on the back side of that, yes, we will switch over to a couple of snow showers across the region. A more seasonable, cooler trend here across southern parts of West Virginia. How does this all pan out with the change in pressure? And how will it contribute to how you feel? Well, first of all, all the way through Super Bowl Sunday, absolutely very little change in the pressure. But once that storm system comes early next week, we will see the pressure drop. So if you suffer from aches and pains, you will probably have more aches and pains in your joints when that storm comes through on Monday. Now, I'm showing you the January precipitation because the last time we had measurable rain was January 31st. So, in the seven day forecast, we've got a gorgeous day on Thursday with a high of 60. Keep in mind with these raindrops falling on roads where we've accumulated oils for the past seven days, the roads will be just a little bit slippery Friday with the little bit of rain that we get because it won't be enough to wash away the oil. So just keep that in mind for Friday. Morning to midday showers on Saturday, morning showers on Sunday, so it's not going to rain the entire weekend. That's good news, and our temperatures will be in the 50s. Now, once we get into Monday, a high of 56, and then the rain comes, and then we drop back into the 30s Monday night. Tuesday, a couple of snow showers, mid-30s, less than an inch of accumulation, unless you live in the western Greenbrier Valley, and then lower 40s on Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. Really can't complain. This weather pattern oh, amazing. is amazing, especially after the cloudy January mm -hmm. and the snowy January that we just got through. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow's looking so good, I but know. I'm also happy too that it doesn't seem like it's going to actively be rainy or snowy on Valentine's Day, just cold. Yeah, exactly. Cold. And that's what we like for Valentine's Day, so you can cuddle up with your significant other. Yeah. <laughs> what if they don't like point. cuddling? I'm kidding. Well, then you can go outside and play football. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Tackle each other. <laughs> Everybody likes a good cuddle. Yeah. Anyway, so we have more news coming up after this. <laughs>